Today we draw a shark, and I thought a, a great white shark is, is the ideal subject matter, um, swimming, eating machine. We're going to turn our paper um, landscape for this occasion, which is sideways, and right through the middle of this piece of paper, we're going to draw a horizontal line. We're going to start our map. Along that horizontal line, we're going to have a starting point at the front, finishing point at the back. We're then going to split this into one, two, three, four, five sections. Okay? Now, this second section here is a, is a crucial point right here. What we're going to do, we get another piece of paper, mark off the size. This size is, is roughly around about the size of all these sections. And then we're going to go the same sort of height at the top and the same sort of height at the bottom from the axis. And the reason for that is because in between here and here and here and here, we're going to very, very roughly freehand a circle. And as with all the workshops, you know, circles and ovals are a very important part of our makeup, our shapes. We're using lines, we're using circles, we're using triangles, but. Okay, a very, very rough circle. This is going to determine the main sort of hub of the body of this shark, because from the top of this circle, I'm going to create another arc out here and from the bottom of the circle to about here and this will be edging towards the tail of the shark. Now we've got a rough shape of a fish here okay um, at the end we can put a little circle there um, and I don't mind putting in, this is where the, the, the tail fin of the shark will be. It's called the cordial lobe, whatever. But there again, this is a cartoon, so we don't have to be that precise. In between the edge of this circle and the edge of the fish, in my red pencil, I'm going to go round about halfways and put in a red line because this is going to be the centre of the fish's, of the shark's face. He's going to be looking at us three quarter. From the top of the circle to the middle of the circle, I'm going to scribe off a line round about halfway and draw another horizontal line, sort of roughly parallel with my centre line. And where these two marks meet here, in the centre line of his face as he's looking at us, I'm going to put a V here, because this is going to be the approximate position of his eyes. It's going to be one eye, and the other eye is going to be sort of going around the other side of the face here. With, well, which I like on, on, on all of you know, it's a favourite of mine just that giving characters these lovely big furrows. It it gives the body contours, it gives the body extra shapes outside of that main shape. And obviously this is going to be the centre of his nose. From the centre of this circle to the edge of this circle, I'm going to scribe another halfway point here. And round about this halfway point, I'm going to put in an oval that's just going to be sort of overlapping his eye. And the reason why I'm doing this is because this is going to be what's going to be the makeup of a cheek. Now, we know sharks haven't got cheeks, but this is a cartoon shark, so he's going to have a cheek. Between 
the center of this circle and this section here which is one two your third section along I'm going to split this in half go to the top and I'm going to put in what's going to be the shark's dorsal fin now I'm going to try and keep the geography of the shark and the actual makeup of the shark pretty true to the geography of a, a normal shark because the pectoral fins just fall slightly forward of this dorsal fin so where I've got the middle of this line which is the start of the dorsal fin here between the center of that circle and that half way between the edge of the circle I'm going to now scribe another half line halfway mark here mark another halfway point here to the bottom half of the circle just go along here we're all sort of squares and grids at the moment but where the center of this line is is going to be where his pectoral fin runs off here and likewise it would run off roundabouts the other side too we're looking straight through this guy like we're looking through him as an x-ray machine then we can put in some minutiae detail there's a secondary dorsal fin there is um, that's what they call he has two of these pelvic fins and a little anal fin there getting back to this middle line which is the all important line everything's going on on this line this is going to be I'm going to accentuate this a little more with the blue pencil the mouth running in to the cheek here now bearing in mind we're going from this outline shape here from sort of about halfway on this cheek this is going to be a very very big open mouth of the shark there's the bottom lip up here we're going to run off like a gum line which you will have these really huge teeth from the bottom of the lip here will run off another gum line which he will have teeth that will fit into these gaps at the top Let's put in an eye now. Now we've got the general sort of ingredients of our shark here. They give him some sort of ridges over his nose here because he's sort of. I know normal sharks don't have this, but he's a cartoon shark, so he can have these ridges over his nose. And so we've got the overall makeup of the shark. I'm going to move in now with the graphite pencil. I'm going to start from the nose at the front. The sharks have got these little kind of, well what I'm assuming are these little kind of nostrils. I'm going to put the nostril in. There's the, there's the nose going up to this cheek which is going to just fall down here. It's going to have a lovely cheek but we're just running away from the edge of that oval. These are going to be these f furrows on his eyebrows. This is all dark in here. Little glint in the eye. Just get an indication of the other eye here. 
joining on with the top of the shark's head there. The mouth will come down to the bottom lip. Give the base of the teeth this kind of curved effect. The same again with the, um, the top gum line. Give it this curved effect. The other side of the mouth. If you want to be aware of everything is there. Bottom lip, the doors all thin. Pectoral fin. At the bottom of the mouth. little shadow that sort of implicates that that's overlapping that. The pelvic fin, little shadow under the one underneath just on the other side along with this other little fin here. Secondary dorsal Coming down to well the tail fin, which is it's called this cordial lobe. And there's the other fin over the other side. Put a little bit of a shadow there to accentuate the tooth in front there. And I've, well, I've got a blue and I've got a red pencil and uh, I know that a, a great white shark is this kind of bluey colour. Um, sorry, first of all I'm going to put this other eyebrow in, just for a bit of effect. We don't usually colour characters in on the... Um, tutorials but being as we've got the the right colors I'm leaving nice little highlights here as you can see on the nose around that little nostril little highlight here. Highlight in the front of the dorsal fin. And the shark has sort of, he's got a sort of a the midway line but the actual pectoral fin on the shark is is this kind of blue colour too so Bring this up here. Just vignette the colour out because this bit under here is white, so this colour goes all the way up to here. A little white highlight on that. Secondary dorsal fin. And just to sort of complete it, because we have the right coloured pencils. There's 
a red gum line. And another red gum line. And there you have it. The Great White Shark, as in a cartoon form. Thanks for watching.